I would like to uh, just take one moment to uh, thank uh, several other individuals for being here. Assembly Member D.D. Barrett, uh, County Treasurer P.J. Keeler, County Clerk Holly Tanner, uh, also uh, Todd Erling and Sheena Salvino, who I work very closely with, as well as Arnie Will from Empire State Development, Louise Atchison and her team from CEG, Katie Newcomb from National Grid, and all of you from Grid who are here, as well as uh, Jim Campion and, uh, from the college, and Jim Church from Questar 3. We're also pleased to have Dan Rickman, the branch manager for the SBA here. I'm going to uh, use a congressional uh, term here and ask for unanimous consent to allow me to revise and extend my remarks by having you review the details of what would otherwise have been my report uh, in our annual report, which highlights the many projects that we worked on. But it's uh, been an honor for me to serve as president for the last two and a half years. I want to thank our dedicated board and, as Tony mentioned, uh, our outstanding staff who uh, backed me up 100% uh, in getting work done, uh, our community engagement, uh, our stakeholders, our partners, and our members, because we've accomplished a great deal in the last three and a half or two and a half years. Before, at the beginning of my tenure, CEDC was facing a challenging time. But working together, we rose to the occasion to restore public confidence, renew our relationship with the Board of Supervisors, and engage local business and community organizations more than ever before. Central to that effort, uh, and to better define CEG's, CEDC's role, uh, was the creation of our strategic plan, focusing on entrepreneurship, innovation, infrastructure, quality of life and sustainability, and workforce and education. On the education front, I do want to point out that the board has re uh, recently created a workforce and education committee to specifically work on these issues. Finally, uh, I do want to mention the fact that all of our initiatives contributing to our goals and our success on our four pillars are the result of partnership and collaboration. And I think it's important that our collective efforts lead to good jobs that empower people to be self-sufficient, to support their families. It enables us to create our own destiny by driving the economy in a direction that the community can get behind. And it adds to the narrative of Columbia County, which in turn helps us attract capital investment and expand the local tax base. It's always important to keep in mind why we engage in economic development. Now more than ever, as the 20th century economy continues to bring rapid change and increased competitiveness, keeping our purpose at the forefront of our actions is critical. We are all here because we believe in the future of the county and in the positive impact of investing and engaging in economic development. Your dedication and our strong collaboration uh, towards perfecting our strategy and practices in order to improve our success are vitally important and we commit to th continuing those activities. There is no finish line in economic development and these last two and a half years have made me more optimistic than ever about the future and what we can accomplish together. We've identified a strong strategy, executed new initiatives that have made a difference, and our continued success will only be possible with a commitment from all of us to our economic strategy and its implementation. I want to thank again our members, partners, board, staff, and particularly our 33 plus sponsors compared to last year's three uh, for your support. And I look forward to having the opportunity to continue to work with each of you in the days ahead. I want to thank you again. And now we'll turn the meeting over to Tony for a uh, brief uh, annual meeting with some uh, resolutions and some reports. But we'll be done very quickly.